Okay. Thank you. Now, you know, years ago, before we went syndicated, yes. I went on a search for Perry Como. I went on two searches for Perry Como. One took place in Florida, one out on Long Island here in New York. At Westbury Music Fair. Westbury Music Fair. Mm -hmm. We borrowed, Joy and I and the kids borrowed Frank's boat. In fact, we were staying at Frank's apartment. In, um, in Jupiter. In Jupiter. And we borrowed the boat. I think you guys were just married at the time, right? I think we'd been married about a year. It was 1986, anyway. It was, oh, then that yeah, was right was after we got married. Deep in, in December of 1986, we went on a search for Perry Como. I wanted to see him. And he lives right off the water there, you know. So we, we took this Frank's boat and the captain, and he took us right to Perry Como, and you'll see what happens now. Let's go back. I've combined both of these searches together. Here we go. Search number one. You know, I'm trying to explain to these kids who Perry Como is and, and what he was to all of us. You know how you think of Bruce Springsteen and Cindy Lauper and Michael Jackson and all these people who entertain you today? Well, this was a guy who didn't sweat, didn't wear funny clothes, didn't dance. All he did was sing, and he was terrific. The voice of an angel. So far, no Perry. How you doing? Have you seen Perry Como? As soon as we clear the trees, we'll be able to see it. Perry! Perry, it's me, Regis! Wait a minute. Focus in on that house, Donnie. I think I hear him. I think I hear Perry Coma. Yeah, I see his golf tee. Yeah, he's in there singing. I can hear him. He's still got it, doesn't he? Zoom right in, Donnie, because I can hear him. Perry! Perry, it's me, Regis! I swear I can hear him singing. Oh, he's still in there singing. Listen. Happy New Year, Perry. I tried. No Perry Como. What a sad ending, eh? You thought Perry was going to be here, didn't you? So did I. Perry! No Perry Como. This is Manhattan, and the search goes on for Perry Como. Gus! Oh, my goodness, and how are you today? I'm fine, Gus. Beautiful. Have you, have you seen Perry Como? Not, not lately, no, sir. No. Do you know who Perry Como is? I know he was, yes. Or he is, yes. Yes. He's a television personality. Oh, my goodness, you have the picture in here. Isn't that nice? Oh, have you yeah. seen this man around, yes, us? That's did. the question. Yes, I did. You saw him here? Not in your building. No, no. <laughs> then we were on our way to Westbury, Long Island. Perry! <laughs> Perry Como. Gotta keep looking, gotta keep searching, gotta keep climbing. Can't give up. Gotta find him. Gotta find... Perry Como! There he is! Perry! Through the parking lot, through the puddles, through the wet. But I get a feeling we're, we're getting closer. I swear, I'm gonna close in on this guy. I'm gonna find him. Well, that feels good, if it kills me. Come on. Now see, no admittance. Backstage. This is where Perry probably came through just a few minutes ago. Hi, guys. How you doing? Regis Philbin here looking for Perry Como. Have you seen Perry Como? No, I haven't. Have you seen I him? I haven't seen him, no. Well, boy, he's cutting it kind of short, isn't he? Any of you guys seen Perry Como? I've seen him. Sorry, no. Huh? Perry Como? Perry will probably blow his nose in one of these. Ha <laughs> ha! You know? Give him one of these. Straighten the tux right here. Look in the mirror real good. And go right out these doors. The band will be, excuse me, the band will be playing. Here are all these people there. Has anybody seen Perry Como here? Has anybody seen Perry Como yet? Is Perry Como here yet? Have you seen Perry Como? I seen him, you, Regis. Well, where is he? I mean, I saw his picture out front. I saw, have you seen Perry Como lately? Not yet. Some things that happen for the first time Just seem to be happening again Okay, where is he? Did he just go down this way? Huh? All right, he's down here. 
You want to know where he is? He's right here. Curry Como. And the ocean keep them rushing to the shore. Yeah, I love him. Love Terry Coleman. Terry Zee. Thank you for seeing me. Still got it. Definitely. Oh, Terry got a good grip. Whoa. Hey. Right here, boy. Right here. What you got there, Perry? I don't know. <laughs> I just picked it up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Perry just picked up a card. <laughs> anyway, welcome here. The Thank search you. was worth it. You're here. We're going to have some fun. We'll be right back in just a moment, everybody. Yeah. Tomorrow on Live, country great Billy Ray Cyrus and Bill Longway. Perry just sat down, so who's going to tell him to move? You know what I mean? Usually the guest sits here, but Perry wants to sit Perry there. Perry wants I'm to sit. No, not at all. No, you're not telling me anywhere. How good you look. I feel fine. Yes, Perry. You look younger than this guy right over here. You see? <laughs> People are bringing the old like albums one, in like here. One, one of my grandchildren. Yeah. How many <laughs> grandchildren do you have now? How many? How many? Um, uh, last count, 13. 13. <laughs> so Christmas is a busy time around your house. It's busy there all the time. Is yeah. it? Are they always visiting? You live in such a great... Of course, you're having a big storm down in Florida right yeah. now. But uh, most of the time, they love to come and visit, huh? Yeah, you know, hang around for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And any grandchildren? I mean, great-grandchildren. Two. Two great-grandchildren. Now, do they look like you at all? I mean, uh, are these genes passed on? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing shakes up, Barry. Nothing! <laughs> this is the only person, besides Frank Gifford, who's never broken out in a sweat in his whole life, mm. I think. I'm sweating right now. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome back to New York, Barry. Thanks. You know, for so many years, Perry Como had his uh, shows here in, in New York City. First, it was a 15-minute show for Chesterfield. Remember that? And then, of course, there was the uh, Wednesday night it was on NBC, and then Saturday night on NBC. You know what I loved? I loved when you had that podium. And they had a little rose at one corner. And you sat on a stool and, uh, and, and a little music stand. And you had your, your sheet music there. And the, and the boom mic would come out. And you'd be in a sweater. Oh, I loved it! <laughs> <laughs> it was the best. Oh, it was the greatest. It was pure entertainment. Well, it yeah. was uh, something that the producer brought up. You know, yeah. Was... Dwight Himian and, and Bill yeah. Smith, I think, worked uh, on that yeah. particular show. Bill Smith or Gary Smith? Right? No, Gary, no, Smith. Gary Smith. You're right. Gary, Absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. So what do you do now, Perry? What are you, what are you selling? Well, <laughs> he's got a little we're Perry sell, Como stand We got another segment, here. and we're going to do a little Christmas uh, talk, you know, about your your latest show. How was it over there in Ireland? They gave you a terrific reception. <clears throat> Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> really? Uh, I've always kind of got, gotten along with an audience. You know, I love them; they know it, and they mm -hmm. love me. Yeah. And you know it. But I walk, and I know it. Sure. Uh, I walked out there. I almost fainted. I know. We had 7,000 people. And they took you right through the audience, Kathy, to the stage, you yeah. know? And they had to have people yeah. around him kind of protecting him because uh, the Irish were going crazy. They thought he was Mick Jagger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, the, the boys who suggested that, they're not with me anymore. Oh, no, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, you know, there are a lot of religious over there, but uh, I understand that you, uh, you had uh, an encounter with, with some nuns recently, right? Huh? <laughs> and, and, and one of these nuns was really overwhelmed by seeing you. What was that all about? She had a vision. <laughs> no, there's no vision, no nothing. No, she was looking at me and she's uh, kind of sad. And I said, well, why are you sad? And she looks right in my face and she says, oh my God, I thought you were dead. <laughs> Unless you heard something, you know what I mean? <laughs> we're going to pause, we're going to come back, we're going to plead with Perry to sing a song for us. Oh, Please! Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow on Live...
Nick Perito has joined us. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, this may, I hope this is the reason. Nick Perito has been with Perry Como for years and years and years. He's his conductor. He's his conductor on the new Christmas concert tape and, uh, the, video, he, and the video as well. And uh, incidentally, you'll be over at Coconuts over at Radio City Music Hall at 12 noon today signing the tape for all of you in New York who would like to go see Perry in person. Anyway, you're here, Nick's here, I'm here, Lee Christmas is here, is we're all here. <laughs> Well, you know, you guys have had so many great songs over the years, Nick. What was your favorite Perry Como song? Oh, gosh, there's so many. What uh, do you like to hear him sing? Eco, eco, I mean. I think that's good. Yeah. This song? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hide your heart from sight. Lock your dreams at night. It could happen to you. Don't count stars or you might stumble. Someone knocks you down and down you tumble. Keep an eye on spring Run when church bells ring It could happen to you All I did was wonder how your arms would be seen on PBS, you know, at 8 p.m. On, on December 5th. And I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I want you to take care of yourself. Very important to everybody. You know that. Okay? Thanks, Nick. Thanks very much. Thanks, Barry. We'll be back with Martha Stewart. Tune in all week for a preview of Friday.